Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. We want to bring you a, a trailer that literally just showed up uh, on Friday. So here we are a couple days later. Uh, this is a new Logan 2020. It is a select 812 four horse living quarters. We're going to walk you completely through this trailer. A couple things we've done on this trailer is we, we did a couple upgrades that I'll kind of show you as we work our way through this. But this trailer, it's a four horse living quarters, eight foot short wall slide out. So it's a really nice size trailer, nice setup, but we're not getting overly big as far as length on this trailer. You're talking 30 foot on the floor. This is an eight foot wide trailer, seven, six tall. So you've got, you know, a, a very comfortable and good sized trailer without making it too big. One thing I want to show you that we did upgrade first and foremost underneath is we went with the 30 pound propane bottles rather than the 20s. We just feel like it's just a lot easier. If you're going to fill these things, you know, let's get you a little bit more capacity rather than having those to fill those 20 pound bottles a little bit more frequently. You do have a single leg hydraulic jack underneath there as well. And one thing I want you to notice is underneath here, underneath that whole gooseneck drop is that vortex lining. So that vortex lining is very similar to a rhino lining. Um, that is something that Logan has been doing for quite some time. I really, really like this stuff. The reason why is, is it's very durable. Um, like underneath there, you're not going to get quite the road blast that you normally would on some trailers. You know, we'll never say that you'll never get a ding because sometimes a, a good sized rock at enough velocity will go into that and still ding it. But for the most part, about 99% of that stuff is going to bounce right off of that vortex lining. Um, so it gives it a lot of strength. Now on these Logans, what you're, what you're getting is, is a galvanized steel frame with aluminum body. So we have the strength of steel. It's not going to rust like your normal black steel will. You get a lifetime corrosion warranty if you were the owner, the first owner of this trailer. Um, as, far as, as far as that structure and that galvanized steel um, from any type of corrosion. Mentioning the warranty, you have an eight year structure warranty on this trailer. And then you have two years nose to tail basically on this trailer. So bumper to hitch. And then when we get into living quarters, you're gonna get a one year craftsmanship warranty as well. So they really stand behind the product. But like I mentioned, they also have an aluminum body. So if you look at this trailer, you know, it really finishes off really nice. I mean, gives it a good look to this trailer. One thing that we did upgrade to this that you can kind of see is this aluminum extrusion. We went all the way to the neck of this trailer. We really like doing that. It gives it just a good look to the trailer, but this extrusion does add strength to it as well. So we'll keep working through here. We'll kind of point out a few other things on the exterior of this trailer when we get to that, but we'll jump in the living quarters here and we'll check this out. So like I mentioned, this is an, a 12 foot short wall with a slide out. So as you can see with that slide, it just really opens up this living quarters. You know, it gives you a lot of room here. You know, you could be sitting at the sofa itself. Someone could be cooking. You could make your way to the bathroom and get to the refrigerator. You can get to their storage. A lot of trailers sometimes, you know, the way it's laid out just completely changes the flow of the trailer. But this one flows extremely well because again, this slide out really opens it up. It's very, very functional and you can get around to things. Over here, you have your two burner cooktop. We did a lid on it, so you get a little bit more counter space when it is shut. You got a dual sink, which is really nice. You get a little bit more, more counter space over in this trailer. And then again, those dual sinks are just really nice because you can clean dishes in one, dry dishes in the other, instead of just having one and then finding counter space to dry everything. You got a microwave up top. And then as we work our way into the gooseneck area, here you have a, a flat screen TV. It does pivot. It is on an arm. And then over here is kind of some control panels for us. You know, we can check water levels, battery levels, water heater, slide out, in and out, some lights. We can extend our electric awning that's on this trailer as well. And then some um, ports for, uh, for charging as well. 
And then Logan's done a really good job on just finding us, you know, a lot of places for storage throughout this trailer. One thing I'll mention when we get out back there, but here's our 30 amp cord. And then this is a little pigtail cord that I'll, I'll mention um, when we get to the back of the trailer uh, as far as being able to put a generator on this trailer. As you can see down here in the floor, we've got some hardware for our table so we can lock that in. So you can actually have a, a table as you sit here at the sofa and it actually stores behind the couch. So again, just being really creative on finding different places to store things, but making it easily, you know, easy accessible. This sofa will fold, fold down into a bed as well. And then again, just more storage underneath, some nice pull-out drawers. That's a great place for like the linens and pillows when you go ahead and put the sofa sleeper down. Again, really accessible there. And as we work kind of back towards the bathroom, we've got a nice 6-0 refrigerator and freezer. So again, we understand you're going to be traveling for some, you know, good amounts of time. This is just really nice to be able to have a, a full freezer and a nice size refrigerator rather than that old dorm style fridge that's really, really small. And then from there, you can work your way into the bathroom. You've got a toilet, bathroom, vanity. You've got more storage. Nice big closet in there. Then you've also got a radius shower with a skylight, which is really nice because it just gives a little bit more natural lighting. And then also, you know, it gives you a little bit more headroom if you are a little bit taller. But again, just a nice size living quarters, very well equipped. You know, soft touch walls in this in this model here. You've got your, you know, day night blinds as well, more storage up top. Nice, you know, memory foam mattress up here. And the other thing too I want to point out is is this ductwork up here in the ceiling. So this is ducted air, so we can force air up into the gooseneck, we can force air into the bathroom, and, and again, it just circulates that airflow in here, so it, it, it just allows you to kind of control the temperature kind of more consistent throughout this living quarters. You know, if, if all of our air is coming directly from this air conditioner, that's, it's just going to blow from there. Well, we have a door going into the bathroom, so we're not getting air into there. You know, you got to force air up into the gooseneck. By having that ducted, man, it just really makes this trailer very comfortable and, again, very easy to maintain, just a consistent temperature throughout the cabin here. You do have a retractable screen door as well. So that's a nice little feature there. Again, like I mentioned, that electric awning. So again, that awning comes out. Um, you have that screen door, you have a light out here. So it's a good place to entertain out here. The other thing that we did was we, we optioned into the sport package and we did that because we really like these frameless windows. You're gonna see more and more of these frameless windows on, on newer living quarters trailers. It is just a clean look to the trailer. It's a different look to the trailer, which the industry is always trying to find. Um, but again, we really like the look of that, that uh, those frameless windows on this trailer. And then with the sport package, you also get the decals. And then we did the black aluminum wheels. So you have the aluminum and the black accent in there. That's a really nice little touch to it. It ties in really well with the graphics those frameless windows and then also we did a spread axle so you'll notice this spread between these two what that does is it does help with weight distribution and it does take off 
some of the weight off of the nose because we've spread those axles out. These are two 8,000 pound axles. And then we also upgraded you to 14 ply tire, so a little heavier duty tire there. You got bus windows, which we'll kind of show you on when we get into the uh, load space there. But you'll notice we've got a sheeted hay rack and then this box behind it. So that box behind it there, uh, like I mentioned, we had that pigtail that I showed you in the living quarters there. That pigtail, if you wanted to get yourself a portable generator, there's, there's a new one out there on the market that's really been popular. It's an Onan 4500 remote start. We've got a box up there for you so you can set your portable generator up there. You have your pigtail. You can get it to where you can remote start and it'll feed power to your living quarters. So we've kind of taken that step for you by including that box, including that pigtail, including the transfer switch in there. So again, you can power your living quarters with that if you opt to put a portable gin on there. And you'll notice as you get to the back of the trailer here, there's a platform up there. So again, we took those extra steps for you, so you're ready for that. But you've got a place to stand up there, you know, load, unload hay, but then also you have your generator up there as well. As we get to the back here, the load space, you'll notice uh, over here to the left is our folding rear tack, four tier saddle rack, blanket bars on the door, we like these folding rear tack trailers on some of these. Um, the reason why is a lot of people want these trailers to be dual purpose. So yes, we're hauling horses, but maybe they want to throw a four wheeler in from time to time or any type of little toy like that. Well, I can remove that post. I can collapse that down. I can open my dividers up and load those toys. So if, for example, you wanted to load some of those toys and use this trailer as dual purpose, this one doesn't have a rear ramp, but we can add rear ramps to any trailers. Remove the rubber bumper, it attaches to the trailer and it folds up over the doors. Very, very simple. We do it on a lot of trailers here. Now as we get into this stall area, I'll get these guys opened up here. So you have padded dividers, the stud divider at stall number one, which I am a big, big fan of. You can utilize this first stall for additional storage if you're not hauling forehead. You can access things through the escape door, through your pass-through door going to living quarters. Because of that stud divider, we're not having to worry about things getting underneath horses in transit. So just a really nice feature. We really like the stud dividers there. Slam latches, so it's very, very safe for you and your, and your animals. You know, we're not having to worry about a pin. We literally can just get a horse in there and push him over and shut that gate and it locks automatically so you know we we mentioned that vortex lining underneath the gooseneck here it is in the stall area as well so again they incorporate it kind of throughout the trailer again it's very very durable i also think it deadens a lot of the noise in these trailers you're not hearing a lot of clanking and banging and i think a lot of that has to do with that vortex lining there as well You've got some LED lights, yeah, so you have a switch on the outside to run those. Um, you have four two-way roof vents, so one above each stall. And then, which is probably on the Logans, my favorite feature is this floor I'm standing on. So this is their Sure, sure Grip flooring. Underneath it is whiz-proof flooring. So they're aluminum planks that run the length of this trailer. They're covered in vortex lining. And then you have this porous rubber floor on top. So in urine, any liquid hit this floor, spreads out, works its way through the porous part, in between those aluminum planks, and out the trailer it goes. So extremely easy cleaning. You never have to pull mats. Um, but again, it'll actually keep your trailer a lot cleaner in general. You just muck out your solids, you can power wash out. It's just really, really nice. Uh, it gives a lot more cushion for the horses than a rubber mat will as well, so the ride's better. And it also has a lot of grip, so horses aren't slipping on it. And in fact, right over here, Jody, I'll have you zoom in on that guy. This is the floor I'm standing on right here. So this is a good cutout and showing you. There's those aluminum planks right here and here 
here is where that water would make its way through in between those two and out the trailer it goes. So I really love the floor that they've done. I feel like it's the best self-draining floor out there on the market. And it's also because of those extra steps that Logan's done, you know. Urine and aluminum don't, don't go well together. Um, so by them making, you know, taking those steps by putting that vortex lining in there, we're not having to worry about that. But again, very easy cleanup. Nobody wants to pull those mats. Over here on driver's side, I got the drop windows down right now. You know, nice big heavy duty jail bars. We have screens on these. These guys do fold down. But also they're, you notice the framing between the window and on that feed door. It is just nice and solid. Those are heavy duty. Those are made at the factory. They're stout. They're gonna hold up. These are things every time you use this trailer, you're gonna be opening and closing these. So we want those items to hold up over time. And I love the cheater that Logan's done so you don't have to reach up and get that that handle up there I can just pull on this this piece here and then you also have mangers so you have doors at stall two and four of this trailer again you'll notice the vortex lining in there so again they they incorporate it throughout a lot of hooks in there for storage and then there is lights as well. We understand you're going to be, you know, using this at different times of the day and night, so it's really nice to be able to have lights throughout as far as exterior, interior, mangers. I mean, just gives you a lot of coverage. And then like I mentioned inside, here's your first your escape door at stall number 1. We've got a corner feeder in there for you. But again, you can access items from right here if you're not having anything in that first stall as far as hauling horses. Good place for like a cooler, maybe some extra bedding, um, you know, things like that that if, if you get somewhere and before you unload horses, you know, you can grab a couple bags of shavings, get the stalls ready, buckets, some feed, anything like that, that's a good place if you're not hauling forehead. We really like utilizing that first stall for those type of items. Again, here's that slide out. That's a nice deep slide. Again, there's that frameless window, giving a really good finished look to the trailer. So again, we're really excited that this trailer just showed up that we could bring it to you guys. Like I mentioned, it is a 2020 Logan Select 812 four horse living quarters. This trailer stock number is 5N 200 966. So we have this trailer. We have a few more coming here pretty quick. Uh, we've got another four horse here at the full width rear tack. We've got some stock LQs. We've got some threes coming as well. So we've got kind of a variety for you. Uh, we can also look at building you anything you want. If you have some time, we can do that. We can take you through the whole process and build you whatever you want. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.